over campus buildings and shots of staff unloading items, text reads, University of Dundee, School of Life Sciences. Our stores team at work. A montage shows various tasks being performed by members of the stores team. A man carries a bag of rubbish to a truck. In a workshop, a man inspects electronic equipment. Another person uses a spanner to twist a fitting on a canister of liquid nitrogen. For scientific research to take place, there are many people we often do not see that provide vital support to our researchers. One such group is our stores team. Every weekday, they manage hundreds of different items coming into and leaving from the School of Life Sciences. One man hands a clipboard to another, who places it onto a trolley which is piled high with boxes. Later, he pulls the trolley through a lab. Working on a computer, the first man updates a stock requisitions processing form. The second man receives a delivery of dry ice. The first man inspects a paper form. From early in the morning, the loading bay and storerooms are a hive of activity. Picking, delivering and replenishing a wide variety of items, essential for scientists to do their work. A man loads items into a fridge, then into a storage cupboard. Another man manoeuvres a pallet jack, which is piled high with boxes. Working at a computer, two men discuss an order form. A member of the stores team turns the handle to open the storage cupboard. He loads boxes onto the trolley and wheels it through the life sciences building, before unloading boxes at another location. He then stands at the back of an open lorry and hands a clipboard to a man in a high visibility vest. Many items used by our scientists daily are kept in our internal stores. From plastic wearing gloves to solvents and chemicals, they are available at a click of a button. An order is placed and a member of the stores team will select the items and deliver them to where they are required. More specialist items are ordered directly from suppliers and arrive by van or lorry at the loading bay. A pallet, piled high with boxes and other items, is unloaded from the back of the lorry. The member of the stores team uses a pallet jack to move the delivery into the life sciences building. These external deliveries come in several times a day. This requires unloading the items, checking the delivery note and sorting them for delivery to the correct person. A member of the stores team uses a box cutter to open one of the delivery boxes. Another member of the stores team inspects a bottle containing a chemical. In a research complex comprising of four buildings over five floors with around 600 researchers, that involves careful organisation. A member of the stores team sorts small containers in a styrofoam box. Another man draws a tick on a form. All deliveries are receipted so that invoices can be paid via our finance system. In a lab, two scientists each pull on a pair of thick gloves. One scientist watches as the other lifts the lid on a cryodepository tank. Gas billows out of the tank. The scientist reaches in and pulls out a long container. Liquid nitrogen and gas, such as carbon dioxide, are regularly required to keep equipment functioning, items stored and experiments running. These need to be regularly replenished. At a location outside the Life Sciences building, a member of the stores team twists a valve on the top of a gas cylinder. Making and keeping things cold, very cold, to minus 196 degrees Celsius is provided by liquid nitrogen. He moves one canister of liquid nitrogen aside. He uses a spanner to turn a fitting on another tank of liquid nitrogen. He attaches a tube to the fitting. The tube leads to a pipe attached to the wall. The man turns two hand levers on the top of the gas cylinder. Gas plumes from the top of the cylinder as the man stands watching it. We have a supply stored in a 4,000 litre tank. This tank automatically supplies our cryodepository storage vessels, but any other liquid nitrogen that our scientists need is provided via pressure vessels and 25 litre jewers. These need to be refilled three times a week. A member of the stores team wheels a trolley toward a man, waiting at the back of a lorry. The two men load a gas cylinder onto the trolley. The member of the stores team unloads the cylinder in a gas cylinder storage cage. A scientist works in a lab. Gas is required for various purposes. Nitrogen, oxygen, argon, hydrogen and other gases are delivered to us in cylinders. One use of these cylinders is in our tissue culture incubators, where carbon dioxide is needed to keep cells alive for experiments.
sitting at a desk, the member of the stores team studies a paper document, then a document displayed on a computer. He writes on a sheet of paper. Our scientists often need to send samples to collaborators. This can be to anywhere in the world. He packs a small box into a shipping bag. Outgoing deliveries are processed by our stores team, ready for collection by a courier service. If the items need to be kept cold, dry ice is used. He places the package on a shelf labelled FedEx UK. Gas billows over a container of dry ice. Members of the stores team load bags of ice onto a trolley. One member of the team wheels the trolley through the life sciences building. He empties bags of dry ice into a number of storage containers at various locations. Dry ice is frozen carbon dioxide. It has a surface temperature of minus 78.5 degrees Celsius. As well as using it for postage, our scientists use it to prepare samples and to keep items they need for their experiments very cold when they are not in our minus 80 freezers. Twice a week, storage containers throughout the research complex are topped up with dry ice. A research complex as large as this produces a lot of waste. A man loads bags of waste into the back of a truck. We have multiple daily pickups for washed and unwashed plastics, cardboard, paper, polystyrene boxes, biological, chemical and general waste. We try to recycle as much as we can. In a workshop, a man inspects and repairs electrical equipment. Many types of equipment are used by our scientists. Sometimes this equipment breaks or stops functioning, so our workshop provides electrical and mechanical repair services. An aerial view of the life sciences building. As you can see, everybody has a part to play that helps our scientists to do their research. A black letter W appears over text to form the Welcome logo. Text below reads, supported by the Welcome Institutional Strategic Support Fund awarded to University of Dundee. A blue and white crest appears beside blue text to form the University of Dundee logo.